first they took away our land, and then they took away our buffalo, and then they took our horses away. My dad was Dakota, and my mom was Dakota and Lakota mixed. And then I got into law enforcement, and I was 20 years old. I wasn't even old enough to be a cop. I wasn't the best cop, but I was the, the most honest cop, I think, that you could find. It's all about survival. So a lot of these children go home to no parents because the parents are either out drinking or they're out with friends, cruising. Um, and it's really hard for the young kids because you know what they're going back to and they come up and they ask you to stay with you. Can I stay with you? I don't want to go home. Using elders, you know, as a part of a, a recovery and healthcare and and doing things that are healthy overall is, I, to me, is the key. They provide the wisdom for our tribe. And I think we really need to tap into that to help address, you know, the suicide and the other health disparities that exist. I remember when I was a little tot at five years old, I started riding horses. But with the help of my grandmother, the saddle was put on and the bridles, and I would ride all day. I enjoyed that day awesomely. I loved horses. They were just like a part of me. And I believe that if you get some of my wayward children into things like this, and to make them be there. Make them feel the horse, talk to them, or ride them. It would change them. The horses were our family. We uh, gave them names. We, they were a part of our family in every aspect of the word. The tribe, they were warriors, they were nomadic, and they were hunting. And they had a way of life and a, a way of understanding which gave them that identity that they needed to be who they are as a Dakota. I'm just learning to be Indian again after all those years of living out in the white world. You know, I had to leave law enforcement for a year or two until I got my head on straight. But I always had horses. I always had horses in my life. And uh, so I just turned to them. I was hoping to do this through uh, young teenage kids so that when they get in high school, the horse will be a full-grown horse like this, and when they graduate, they can take the horse and all the gear that they've acquired over the course of a couple of years. They'll have their own saddle, their own halter, lead rope, tack, and they can take it all with them, or they can do whatever they want. It's theirs. One of the challenging things about growing up here is addictions. My mom and dad both have troubles with addictions and it just really impacts the family and kind of just makes everything fall apart unless you have your other family members there for you. Mostly it's the relationship with the horse. The first day they're here, they're plumb scared of the horses, you know, which is natural. I mean, yeah. thousand pounds of bone and hoof ready to step on you. The first time I'm climbing up on a horse, I felt frightened. But then when I started getting used to it, it felt pretty cool. About the it felt cool to connect to uh, the horse in every single way you possibly can. When I wasn't riding horses for a few months, everything started going back to the way it was. I dropped out of school for a month, and I got used to detention center. Asked me if I wanted to come back out here, and I said, yeah. The horses and the, the children, they just connect. You can't explain it. You just try to make it safe for them as possible. And 
And they, they have amazed me, some of these horses, because I've t- taken them places where they bleed like me. Uh, we pray together and we go in to get together and uh, when they get scared, they look at me for answers and when I get worried, I look at them. And uh, there's just that connection that you can't explain. It's foretold by ancestors that the seventh generation is one that's gonna come and be in that time period where things are gonna change to benefit the Native American getting back to who we say we are as Natives. They see a lot of that happening now. We can help each other and become a healthy tribe again.